At 10.35 hours, B Squadron, Dismounted Guard and the Regimental Bend march onto parade on Salisbury Plain in front of 2,000 spectators. The Dismounted Guard, totaling eight officers, four warrant officers and 122 other ranks. The dismounted guard, led by the second in command, Major Spears, is handed over to the commanding officer of the 16th 5th, the Queen's Royal Lancers, Lieutenant Colonel Wright. Thank you. Mr. Lucas, the technical regimental quartermaster sergeant, with his escorts, Sergeant Majors Lee and McNamara, in ferrets, drive onto parade with the old guidon. The guidon was presented to the regiment by our Colonel-in-Chief, Her Majesty the Queen, at Buckingham Palace on the 19th of March, 1959. Colonel of the Regiment, Colonel Brock, and Regimental ADC to the Queen, Captain Skinner, arrive. Colonel Brock commanded the regiment from July 1966 to March 1969. General Sir Frank Kitson, Commander-in-Chief United Kingdom Land Forces and Lady Kitson. Thank you. 
General Sir John Stenier, Chief of the General Staff, the Colonel Commandant of the Royal Armoured Corps. Colonel Sir James Scott, Lord Lieutenant of Hampshire, and Lady Scott. Sir James Scott also commanded the lifeguards in 1965. A 21-gun salute by five scorpions in front of Dumbbell Copse precedes the arrival of our Colonel-in-Chief. On the chalk as well. This was a worrying time for those on parade as the Queen was held up on her way by a tractor causing a build-up of traffic on the road to Tidworth. Her Majesty arrived some 15 minutes behind schedule. The Colonel-in-Chief arrives with a ferret escort commanded by Sergeant Thomas and Corporal Stokes. The scimitars and scorpions of A and C squadrons drive out of Dumbbell Copse to form a line abreast to fire the Royal Salute.
Your Majesty, the 16th, 5th, the Queen's Royal Lancers are present and ready for your inspection. There are 19 officers, 4 warrant officers, and 290 other ranks on parade, ma'am.